We have one more coin in um, this older gold arena, and we did allude to it just a moment ago. It's a 4136, and we have the 1908 No Motto St. Gaudens Double Eagle, and it is in NGC grade mint state 65. Absolute stunning coin. It is uh, probably, I, I would venture to say, one of the most beautiful and well-known gold coins in American history. And uh, we have this coin tonight at uh, a steal, $2,750, Mint State 65, the no motto. Tell, you, tell me more about this coin. Well, we talked about uh, President Roosevelt uh, being responsible for this new coinage design. Yep. Uh, he, the, the first year of issue, the 1907 high relief, and the 1908, either the first and second year, initially mm -hmm. did not have the, uh, the motto, In God We Trust, which had has been on coinage, American coinage, since 1864. Uh, it's believed that the In God We Trust was added to our, uh, the America's coinage because of the Civil War. It was a very trying time in American history, and okay. uh, <clears throat> that's what was done. The motto stayed on the coinage until 1907. President Roosevelt asked Augustus St. Gaudens to not include that in his designs. Hmm. A lot of the public felt that he was an atheist or, you know, he was... Uh, uh, they didn't like it, so there was a huge public outcry. Uh, I, or coincidentally, or ironically, he, it wasn't that he was an atheist or anything. It's just he felt that coins, like a twenty-dollar gold piece, would be used uh, to buy alcohol or for other <laughs> nefarious purposes, and uh, he thought that it was ungodly to have the deity's name on coins that, that would, would be, be used, used to purchase sinful things. So that's why he uh, did not have it on there. Huh. He, he eventually uh, uh, conceded and let the... Uh, sure, society kind yeah. of uh, was a little outraged on that. It was a compromise. Yeah. He said, okay, uh, you know, we'll put, this, we'll put the, uh, the motto, In God We Trust, back on the coinage, but just use it for good purposes only. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the story behind that. Now, 1908, there's actually two, two designs you have the with motto and the, and the no motto. This so is it's the, like halfway through the year, through some right. point in the year. You know, society, there was such an outrage that they had to stop and maybe even pull some off the market and then reissue them with the In God We Trust. Although there's something to be said on that reverse where you just see the eagle. I mean, it's a lot more apparent in an ultra high relief yeah. or a high relief. But when you're looking at that coin right there and you see just the flying eagle with the sun and the rays coming right behind it, and without the Ngabi Trust, that's usually on that bottom. I mean, there is something really special about it because it's also, this, it technically went through 1933, you know, with those few examples. So this is the only one really of it that had this, this kind of design, just like the free flowing and the free flying uh, of the eagle on the reverse. Yeah, it's a beautiful design. It's very clean. The obverse actually is uh, so revered that you'll see at the end of this program shortly mm -hmm. that the uh, modern... United States bullion coinage, the $50 yeah. gold piece, they actually copied the design. They, they had design contests to come up with a design for this new, uh, the new gold bullion coinage, which started in 1986. Yep. And uh, they finally just said, hey, we're yep. never going to top Augustus St. God. Let's, Let's just borrow. Race. Sort of like they did with the Silver Eagle series following you know, the Walking Liberty exactly. half dollar. Another beautiful coin. Exactly, which, we're, which we'll be showing you on a future program. But this one... If you are interested in this right now, you can have it at $2,750. Mm -hmm. And again, we have higher grades if you are interested. We have lower grades if you're interested. But this is a mid state 65. It is NGC graded. It is a perfect entry point into this year and the, the St. Gaudens series. You want the ultra rare dates? We can obviously help you with that. And you want, again, higher grades, lower grades? It is our pleasure to serve you. You just have to let us know. Um, we also have the 1908 with motto. We if you want to buy the pair, the no that actually we can do, and we do have a pair opportunity. Which, if you're interested, you just have to uh, request that and email us, and we will definitely take care of that for you. The and price, they're priced comparably, actually. That actually is, yeah, especially in the 65 grade. I mean, you could probably get them, at, you know, at around the same level. Which the uh, the 1908 with motto. Uh, technically is a much scarcer coin, but they're priced about the same. 1908D, doesn't that get a little uh, rarer? Some, yeah, so especially the Phillies, it, 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 this, especially the pair, 
you know, we, and we, if you did ever want that pair, we could present it to you in a beautiful display box where you can actually see the obverse and reverses, uh, you know, together. It is a, a wonderful example, and, you know, you'd have a chance to own both varieties of the most ama beautiful American gold coin ever produced.